Hello, in this problem we're going to find the Maclaurin polynomial for this function tangent of x. And n is equal to 3, so it's the nth Maclaurin polynomial when n is 3. So let me write down the formula so you see what this polynomial is. So p sub 3 of x is equal to f of 0 plus f prime of 0 times x plus f double prime of 0 over 2 factorial times x squared. And the last term here, because it's a 3, would be the third derivative of 0 over 3 factorial x cubed. So this is the third degree Maclaurin polynomial. It's really easy to memorize the formula if you realize that there is a 1 factorial here, and there's a 1 here, and there's a 0 factorial here, and there's actually an x to the 0 here. So you see, it just goes up, 0, 1, 2, 3. And we stop at 3 because n is 3. So the first step is to take the derivatives. So let's go ahead and start by writing down the tangent of x. So f of x is 10x. And the derivative of tangent is secant squared. This will be secant squared of x. Now we have to take the derivative again, so it's getting a little more challenging pretty quickly. So the second derivative. So note, you can think of secant squared as secant of x quantity squared. So when you take the derivative, you do have to use the chain rule. So we put the two in the front, so we get two parentheses secant x times the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of secant is secant tangent. So this is secant x tangent x. Let's clean this up just a little bit. So this is going to be 2 secant squared x tangent x. I forgot my little x there. There we go. Okay. And we have to do it again, right? Because we want the third derivative. So let's do it. So f triple prime of x. Let's be careful here. So we have to use the product rule here. So this is the first piece. And then this is the second piece. So the product rule says you take the derivative of the first. So that's going to be a chain rule. So 2 times 2 is 4 secant x times the derivative of the inside. So secant x tangent x. So this is the derivative of the first. Okay, so we just did 2 times 2, so we got 4. Brought down the 2, we have secant x times the derivative of the inside, which is secant tangent. If you can't see it, I wrote it a little bit small. Let me make it bigger so you see it. There we go. I mean, it has a little bit of clarity there. So we brought the 2 down, so that gave us the 4. We're left with secant. Then we multiply by the derivative of the inside. So that's the derivative of the first times the second, which is tangent x plus the first, which is 2 secant squared x, hardcore, times the derivative of the second. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared x. Beautiful stuff. So now we get to plug in the numbers. <laughs> so let's do it. Notice I didn't even attempt to simplify. I'm hoping that things will magically go away when we plug in zeros, and I think they will. Let's see. So f of 0. So f of 0 is just the tangent of 0, which is 0. Good stuff. f prime of 0. So f prime of 0 means we plug in a 0 here for our secant. So you get secant squared of 0. So recall that secant x is equal to 1 over cosine x. It's 1 over the 1 that starts with the other letter. That's how I memorize it. And so cosine of 0 is 1, so this is just going to be 1 squared, so it's 1. Nice numbers. f double prime of 0. Well, here's the second derivative right here. Uh, yeah, here it is right here. Here it's cleaned up. And so when you plug in 0 here for the tangent, it's going to be 0. Tangent of 0 is 0, so the whole thing is 0. And then f triple prime of 0. Well, the first piece is going to completely vanish because it has tangents, and tangent of 0 is 0. And the second piece is just going to be 2 
times 1, because all of these secants will become 1s, right? Secant of 0 is 1, tangent of 0 is 0. Whoops, I lost my screen there. Let me take it back. There we go. I don't know how that happened. Yay, it's preserved. Okay, so we just get um, we just get 2. All right, so now let's finish. So I'm going to plug everything into the formula. You know, I can do it up here. Let's just do it up here. So f of 0 is 0. So we have 0. So this piece is 0. f prime of 0 is 1. So we just get 1 over 1 factorial. So we just get x. How pretty. f double prime of 0 is 0. So plus 0. f triple prime of 0 is 2. So plus 2. And then 3 factorial is 6. So this is equal to x plus one third x cubed. And that, my friends, would be the final answer. Nice problem. It did require uh, a little bit more work, some chain rules and products rule, product rules, uh, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. I hope this video has helped, been helpful. Good luck.